Hello, this is Matthew Robert Payne and this is a personal prophecy for Jacqueline and I just pray uh, that the Lord would give me words. Uh, dear Father, I pray that uh, you give me words for Jacqueline, uh, words that will bless her, inspire her, lift her up and encourage her. In Jesus' name I ask, Amen. Um, well, um, as I was making this coffee, I've got three scriptures given to me uh, which will apply to you but also as I was making my coffee I got three names and uh, this doesn't that often happen to me uh, but uh, I uh, pass on everything that uh, I'm given um, I was given um, first name I was given was Lady Diana and I'm not sure how young you are but uh, Lady Diana died 20 years ago, uh, at least 20 years ago. Um, but um, that the Lord said that you're a real lady, and uh, and you're you're um, like the opposite of a gentleman. Uh, that uh, you're really ladylike, you're really pure, and you're very humble. Um, I also uh, got the name of um, um, what's her name. Um, Oh, I forget her name. Um, she's um, she's the one who imparted her gift uh, to Benny Hinn. Um, but uh, uh, hopefully, um, hopefully I'll remember by um, the time we finish. The other name I got was Mary Jesus's mother. Um, she's very very humble and low to the ground. Um, I've met uh, Mary three times and. Um, each time, you know, if you if you laid on the floor, laid right down on the floor, and you're flat before God, you still wouldn't be as low as Mary is. She's just below the floorboards, low and humble. And um, that's um, that's a uh, uh, um, a sign of who you are. You you you're a real lady, like. Uh, Lady Diana and and like Mary, uh, Jesus' mother, and uh, you're very humble. And um, I I'd imagine that um, certain circumstances have uh, come into your life, uh, and you've had uh, certain trials in your life, and you've had the ability to press on and uh, have faith in God uh, in order to uh, get as humble as you are. You've um, You've uh, developed uh, true humility, and um, I once, um, I once uh, um, was listening to a pastor, and um, he said that um, the the higher gifts, the gifts, the the real power gifts, are uh, found um, the lower that you get. Uh, he said, rather than getting higher and higher in the anointing it's actually the lower and lower that you get uh, that release the power gifts so someone like um, Paul the Apostle who moved powerfully in signs and wonders um, he was really low to the ground you know a lot of people would consider Paul uh, prideful or you know confident in himself but he's very humble he was very submissive and uh, humble and uh, you've developed uh, true uh, humility you've got um, also um, an intimate relationship with Jesus uh, you've got this uh, real uh, peace and serenity about you and joy uh, you, you carry the presence of, of God um, being in your company is a wonderful thing um, people are blessed just being in your company you you speak with grace and love and you've got this uh, tremendous compassion uh, for people um, you truly want uh, everyone to live their dream you you really want everyone to uh, become who they were meant to be uh, you you are uh, a person who encourages people's strengths and encourages them in their giftings and uh, encourage people to be everything that they can be like you you'd be you'd make a really um you'd make a really effective counselor or life coach uh, for people um, I, I could really see you um, 
growing in the Lord and uh, and uh, moving in the prophetic, for instance, and uh, becoming like a life coach for people and giving people spiritual insight and spiritual direction um, on uh, getting to their life destiny, what God has uh, planned for them. Um, you've got this um, tremendous... Um, compassion and love uh, you, you you the compassion uh, that you have uh, makes you uh, close to the father and Jesus um, both uh, both the father and Jesus uh, share their thoughts with you and share their um, understanding and their cares with you and you really are a friend of God's um, you um, you're not a person who's a taker uh, and takes um, takes uh, uh, things from God. Uh, you don't come to God for everything I want, I want, I want. But uh, you're. Um, uh, I was just trying to think of that woman, um, that third woman. Um, but. Um, uh, you're not a person who comes to God with a give me, give me, give me attitude. You're a person who ministers to God in worship and ministers to God in prayer and shares your heart with God. And, uh, and when you operate on earth and you do things on earth, you like co-labor with Christ. Uh, Christ uh, works through you, through the Holy Spirit, and you do things together. It's like uh, you wake up in the morning and you, you say to yourself, uh, what are we going to do today, Holy Spirit? And um, I feel that uh, if you're not uh, consciously saying that to the Holy Spirit, I've got a sense that you actually are saying something like that to the Holy Spirit. But um, if you're not consciously saying it, it's your attitude you wake up with this idea that uh, you're going to serve God that day uh, in the things that you do and uh, the interactions that you have with people. Uh, you really are, uh, are, are like a, a carrier. You're really going to carry uh, a portion of, of the glory of God. Um, the glory of God is going to manifest in your life so powerfully that you're going to start to shine. Even people uh, are already attracted uh, to the glory that's in your life. Uh, people uh, on the street will ask you for spare change. People will ask you for directions. Babies are always staring at you. Um, so your face is already shining with the glory of the Lord. So um, the first verse that uh, the Lord uh, wanted me to share with you was uh, Ephesians 3.20. And you know the verse that says, Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. Um, God wants you to know that he's going to do exceedingly and abundantly more than you can ask or think. Um, now, when it comes to me, that's a lot because uh, I've got a lot of plans and desires and uh, I can think about a lot and I've certainly asked for a lot. And um, so that's a lot when it comes to me. So... Is it the same for you? Is there a lot that you've got? Yeah, I know uh, that uh, that uh, you're a laid down uh, lover and you're a person that's very humble. And so um, I, the the word I get for you is that uh, you're like a handmaiden of the Lord's. You're like a uh, personal valet, like a personal servant of the Lord Jesus. And uh, and um, you. Um, Keep on trying to think. Uh, just excuse me if I don't get the third uh, woman. Um, the first two uh, women uh, were important. Um, but uh, okay, whenever I try and uh, think of the third woman, um, I get distracted. So you're like this handmaiden for the Lord. And it's like um, you uh, are doing the Lord's bidding. And, uh, and uh, so you may not have... Uh, thought of much for yourself, you may not have requested much and you may not think too highly of yourself um, uh, but uh, the Lord wants you to uh, dream, the Lord wants you to request things and uh, 
to be spiritually moved to ask him for things because he wants to do exceedingly and abundantly uh, more than uh, you can even conceive uh, or think about. Um, so that's the first verse. Another verse I um, got for you while I was making my coffee uh, is another verse that uh, you'd probably um, be aware of. Um, but... Uh, just want to share it and uh, maybe say a couple of things about it. Um, it's um, Psalm 1 3. It says, He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in season, whose leaf shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. Um, you're like a tree planted by the rivers of the Holy Spirit that brings forth fruit and you always got fruit uh, happening uh, you've got the fruits of the Spirit happening and uh, you demonstrate the love of Christ um, your leaf is always green so um, in desert times when people are looking for water they look for green trees and they know that green trees are near a source of water so um, people in coming times that are trying times that are going to come towards the world uh, people People will see the glory on you and see you like this green tree and approach you and ask you for answers and whatever he does shall prosper um, so uh, you're going to um, you're going to prosper you've seen prosperity uh, and uh, I just release uh, uh, the spirit of the Lord and favor over your life that uh, you'd start to move and you'd start to prosper uh, in the things that you set your heart to. Um, one of the keys to prosperity is uh, that uh, the Lord releases it over our life when we've been put through tests and uh, we've proven ourselves faithful to the Lord and he can trust us. He knows that uh, once we're aligned with him and his purposes that uh, he can direct us to do things and he prospers everything that we do. And so uh, in the last year uh, the favour of the Lord has come upon me and uh, from time to time whenever I get that passage I know it's time Time to release that favor over the person I get that passage for so um, another scripture is uh, Jeremiah 17 uh, verse 7 blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord whose hope is in the Lord um, that's who you are your whole hope is in the Lord Jesus. You've got uh, a desire just to serve the Lord Jesus and every part of you uh, is just laid down. Without Jesus in your life, your life would be nothing. Um, you wouldn't know what to do with your life. Uh, you'd almost, you know, it's not a good subject to talk about, but you, you wouldn't want to live without Jesus in your life and he's so much part of your life you're like a princess like Princess Diana you're like royalty uh, who, who dances and, and, and who, who uh, worships and, and whose whole life is manifested in, in the praising and the glorifying of Jesus Christ and uh, you've got this uh, really laid down uh, desire to to serve uh, Jesus um, so it says blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord whose hope is in the Lord for he shall be like a tree planted by the waters which spreads out its roots by the river and will not fear when he comes but leaf will be green and will not be anxious in the year of drought nor will cease from yielding fruit so uh, you're a person who uh, is going to be fruitful and uh, when times are coming on the earth that are going to be trying uh, you're going to be a source of uh, inspiration for people, a source of joy for people, a source of answers for people. You're not going to, uh, when a drought comes, you're not going to cease from yielding fruit. The Lord is going to bless you and keep on blessing you and provide for you and uh, through you uh, he's going to bless many people and um, so they're the scriptures I got for you um, I, I feel that um, you're very much led by the Lord um, the Holy Spirit is strong with you I, I sort of uh, get the saying out of uh, Star Wars the force is strong with you uh, you know um, they used to say that the force was strong with Luke Skywalker and um, 
and the Holy Spirit's uh, uh, force, the Holy Spirit's power in your life is very strong with you. Uh, you wax strong with the Holy Spirit. I can see you um, dancing. Uh, I don't know if you dance now, but uh, I can see you worshipping the Lord in dance. I can see you uh, writing poetry and even uh, producing uh, journals. I can see you journaling uh, and uh, writing journals uh, before the Lord. I can even see you you um, writing journals and releasing journals of your reflections as books uh, for people to read uh, the intimate journey that you have with the Lord. Um, I can see you blessing people through writing, blessing people through poetry and blessing people through dance. I can also see you um, moving uh, in signs and wonders and healing and glory and uh, glory signs and wonders. Uh, I can see you ministering uh, revival and uh, doing uh, all sorts of power gifts and uh, doing amazing things. Um, I can see uh, the Lord uh, doing exceedingly and abundantly uh, more than you can uh, think or more than you can ask for. And um, I pray that this word has blessed you and uh, I'd love to hear your feedback and uh, God bless you.